Hey guys, we're here at Slinger Speedway. I am in the asphalt street stock machine. Car number three. We got James Allen in here as car number one. So James has got a good I rating compared to the rest of us. Only eight cars. Now the track is great. My only concern is that we're gonna have a little rough stuff. And we could, I mean, it's, it's short track racing. And I don't mind a little bumping. I just don't wanna get put out of the race, you know. I don't want to get knocked around so bad that it just puts me so far behind that I can't green flag, you know, green flag. Okay, you be involved in any kind of race with anybody. As long as I got somebody to race with, I'm happy. I don't care if it's for last. I just want to race. Uh-oh. Got the pushing up real bad down there. Probably hit the entrance wrong. If you enter wrong, You'll, yeah, I messed that one up too. All right, this ticket flag. Well, it's a 228, so that's not too awfully bad. Ones would have been better, but you know, that's the way it goes. Can't win them all. So, so far, I'm in third. Just hit this. Well, we'll hit this. Take a look there at the uh, the lineup real quick. If you want to look at that, there's James on the outside pole. Everyone I'm in here on the inside. And I'm going to hit the F3 because my button's mapped wrong. One to go. Next time by, get ready. Going Doesn't green. Be working either. Nothing's I working anymore. Oh, I see what it is. All right. Well, that's what I get for fiddling with buttons when the race is starting. Really came up <laughs> way quicker than I thought it would, and I was fiddling around with the buttons, trying to figure out what was going on, and I'm sure the guys behind me didn't appreciate it too much either. Now, I finally hear the car bottom out here. I know it does it. I've seen other people's sparks coming out. And I don't remember ever bottoming out here before, but... 12.265. The car in P1 just set the fastest lap. 12.1. Yeah, it's going good. And P1 is still turning 12.1s. That is flat moving. He's coming up on lap traffic, and we'll be coming up on lap traffic if it continues this way. I need to stay on the bottom. For some reason, I'm not staying right on the bottom in turns one and two. Doing a little better at it in three and four. 
Okay, that's a little better. I hate staying way up high. I do appreciate him. That car is left down. Outside, really good, uh, good guys that are trying. Just not up with us right now for whatever reason. Inexperience, most likely. You got to appreciate them. And guys like that ask for help. I don't hesitate. If I can help them in some way, I will. Now in this series, there's not a lot of help you can give. There's no setup help. I mean, you can tell them to back the steering ratio to 8 to 1, which I think is a good suggestion. 12 is just so slow. And it kind of depends on your wheel too sometimes, but just like in dirt street stocks, everybody says go to four to one. Don't leave it on six. And on dirt, it makes a big difference. And it makes a big difference. Twelve and eight is a big spread. Like they have in the street stocks here in asphalt. I suggest if you're running street stocks, the default is twelve to one. Make it eight to one. Especially on a little bitty track like this, you have to turn the wheel far enough to get around these corners. If it was on 12 to 1, you'd just have to go that much further. You'd be twisting your arms into a pretzel. <laughs> well, this is fun enough. I would like to be racing with somebody. I can't catch James. I got this buggy I'm wheeling it and pedaling it just as hard as I can and I'm not gaining any ground on James I think I might be losing ground slowly he's very consistent this is one fun combo and I would suggest if you haven't run it, do so. If you need to practice, well, get some practice. I know a lot of dirt guys watch my videos, but this right here is is a really good combination. I think the late models would be a great combination here. I just fear the I fear that class because of the roughness, the rough driving. You'd think street stock would be worse, but in my experience, so far, it has not been. And I was thinking about running a late model race this week also there at Langley. And that's a driver's track and might be a little better than uh, some of the other tracks that they run as far as the roughness goes it's a tough track it's hard to drive no. i'm up to the 12.6s and the car is starting to feel a little bit i don't know a little bit squirrely maybe a little bit loose at times Got some tire wear going on. The eight car has picked up the pace a little bit. And I pick up a 2X. Slamming the front stretch wall. I imagine this, as a, as a spectator, this is probably one of the best tracks you can go to and spectate in the country. 
because those these cars come out of turn four and they're right up to the walk. Oh, sorry, eight. I almost hit you, brother. Didn't want to. And there's the six car. He's also going a lap down now. I don't know if we'll ever catch him. Twelve six is still, it seems like it's kind of stabilized around that speed for now. And the seven car is up there also. The leader's turning a torrid pace. run off and left us all he'd probably be lapping me in a couple of we don't uh, get a caution or something still two tenths faster than I am three tenths I'm into the sevens now The way they come out and down the front stretch, right up next to the wall, it's, to be a fan in the stands here, it must be a real thrill. I wish this was my local track. That's how much I wish I, w I was uh, here watching the races. That car is a lap down. That's the six car up there. Looks like we're probably going to catch him. We've only got about, eh, about 13, 14 laps to go. So not too much longer. I don't know if I'll ever catch the seven. And then we got another car up there. Well, we got a conglomeration getting started here with lap cars. And James is up there in the thick of it. He's maybe getting a little impatient. 12.882. Car outside. Clear up top. The leader is coming up on you. They're not our fight. And the leader's coming up. That car is a lap down. 13.118. And no, that is not my fight. I'm going to try to get around this four car if I can. Leader's not that close yet, so we should be okay. And here comes James. And he's going to be looking for a way around that car in front of him now. And they get together. And I am not concerned because right now my position's clear inside. My position, all these guys are lapped. Still there. Clear outside. That car is a lap down. Fourteen. I just didn't want to get involved in all that. There was nothing for me to the only thing I could gain was was to get around James and that wasn't happening. James held on to it when he got loose there under that uh I think it was the seven car. Two more, let's go. Just two more laps, guys. I'm not concerned with passing. And there we go. Oh, and we got green, white checker, though I see. Catch the pace car. This will be the last green white checkered caution period. Catch the six car. You only get one though. One to go. Next time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. 22.877. The pace car is in. About to go green. Stay focused. Green, green, green. 
The leader just hit us 22.972.17.558 outside. That car is a lap down. Car outside, outside is clear. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. Outside, clear up top 12.931. There's the flag. It's over. Good job. Very good job. Oh, and there's a an incident from inside the car. That's where the I guess that's where the seven got uh, spun around. Yes, that would be it. Unfortunate deal for the seven car. Is he? I think he's trying to. I think he was trying to retaliate on the six. I, I, I'm not going to say for sure that he was, but, you know, it, it did look like it. And he's cutting across the field here, the infield, and there's the six. And I think he's a little early. He gets right across in front of the six. I don't know what he was doing, honestly. I don't, I don't know. I hate to say he was trying to retaliate when maybe he wasn't. Maybe he was just frustrated and decided to go hit the wall. And that's the end of the race. Really wasn't many. That was really the only incident, I guess, was between the six and the seven. That's just unfortunate that that happened. It really is. Now, gains and losses. Probably gains. Yeah, plus 27 I rating. That's a that's. A nice change for the good. I've been losing I rating quite quickly here on asphalt as I've grown inexperienced and rusty and a few years older since I ran asphalt on I racing. Uh, plus 0 0.06 safety rating. I'm at a 4.46. I got no concerns with that there. That's a healthy safety rating. By the way, OSR Discord, you can just go to osracing.net slash discord and join that if you like. I would appreciate it. Uh, I want. I'd like to see a little bit more activity in our Discord. I like to have people come in and communicate and kind of be a community type Discord. It would be great. I appreciate you joining in and watching. I had one or two join in the stream, and we'll have some more views on this video, I'm sure. And I will see you in the next race.